are you all doing today? It's Jim from DeBergerac. I'm going to make this a really short video, but I um, wanted to show you what we did. Wanted to get some more storage space. And if any of you out there have a shop, you know storage space is optimum. And we get stuff put all over the place and I try to keep a real organized shop. But sometimes you run out of places to put stuff. So what we did was we needed some storage space for this wall. Now it's nine feet wide. This section of the wall is nine feet wide. On the other side is my switches. So I didn't want to change my electrical around too much. But I had this nine foot area here and I could go up to almost eight feet. And I ended up going to a um, storage wholesale place that sells office equipment and things like that when they liquidate companies or for whatever reason businesses move. I bought the tall filing cabinets for $100 a piece, used of course, and the bottom ones for $100 a piece. These are steel case units, which if you go online and look at how much they're, they'd be three times that amount if you bought them new. So right now we've got them mounted to the wall and we have all the storage space for 600 bucks. So I want to show you this and we're gonna paint. Uh, Shane had taken all the doors off and Jack put everything together for me. So it was kind of nice. I just went and bought the stuff and the guys assembled everything. But you can see the unit. I mean, it's all bolted to the wall, concrete wall on the other side. It's all bolted in, doesn't move. You see what it looks like before, now that everything's mounted. And we'll put it all together and show you. So just hold on for a couple seconds and wait for the video to go forward. And it'll be all done. Kind of cool, huh? Well, I had just said that I was going to um, show you this when it was all done. But I figured perhaps we could um, go over a few items before I paint the edges on this. We're using all grip today. And like I told you, we we're doing sea foam uh, for the paint color, sea foam green. I guess you'd call it a green, it's real light. A lot of people really like the color, kind of um, nice mellow color, doesn't, it's not jumping out at you, but it looks nice. It's a relaxing type of color. And this is All Grip, an All Grip product, which is a commercial product. And this is the catalyst for it. Because I'm going to be brushing and rolling this, we're going to use um, All Craft number three. Now that's just for brushing and rolling. You don't use that for spray work. And then you use a 0031, which is a reducer for it and that's also just for brush work so what I like to do is pour a little off like this I'm not going to mix the whole batch because Shane had sprayed all the doors and everything for me and we're kind of running a little bit low on paint so I want to mix only what I need for this first coat Let's see how far we get along with this amount now how I'm going to apply this is I'm going to use the foam brushes and I'm going to pour it off into this pot. Now when I start out with it, it looks like I have plenty of product in there to finish, do the first coat on all these edges. So start out with it. First thing I do is use a foam roller. So that works out pretty good. You can see that changed the color nicely. And here's the trick of why you're using the foam roller. Now I got a little bit left in my pot, so I'm gonna dip out of my pot. I'm gonna wet my foam brush, and I'm just gonna drag it over, which is gonna help relieve all the bubbles in the, that the roller put on. And then I'm just painting the inside edge just a little bit. Again, you see some streaking and other little issues in this, which is okay because, like I said, I don't expect the first coat to do everything. So that's the way you put all grip on with a roller or foam. I'm going to go ahead and finish this now. You got the idea behind it. I'll get it finished and I'll show you what it's going to look like when it's all done.
Okay, well we're in front of the finished project here. You can see the paintwork is uh, completed and um, got everything done. Put some 24-inch uh, stainless handles on it, which makes it a little easier to open up the cabinets. Um, but this is um, $600 worth of office furniture, painted up, and you can see it makes a really nice storage facility in this side of the shop. And it'll be a good backdrop for videos and things nice and clean looking. So there's a few more things we're going to do to it. We're going to organize it, get everything laid out so we can find stuff in there because just start stacking stuff in here it'll be in the back of the cabinet the, the one thing you need you know so once we get it organized it'll be good but um hope you like the video and come back and enjoy us some more